Hello. You're welcome back to my school YouTube channel. And in this video segment, what we'll be doing is we'll be going through all of the topics in the subject of mathematics. Yes, of course, that is what we'll be doing together. So we are going to divide this particular topics into different units okay so i've presented you with eight different units that stand as a representation for all of these topics so at first we'll be starting with the one we have on the line okay at first we have number and numeration secondly algebra thirdly we have mensuration geometry trigonometry calculus statistics and vectors so under the topic or the unit rather for number and numeration we'll be looking at various topics like your indices okay laws of indices your logarithm laws of logarithm as well we're we'll considering sorts okay you know when you talk about sorts rationalizing the denominator converting from single to basic form and the likes okay as well we're we'll looking at sets you know you remember your sets you remember the venn diagram how to interpret this diagram how to pull up a diagram from question given to you okay then we'll be looking into um logical reasonings as well you know remember your truth table your first table your conditional statements your converse statement your inverse statement and what have you of course we'll be also looking into modular arithmetics okay so there are so many things we are going to be considering in the unit number and numeration so when we go into algebra we'll be looking at topics like um your algebraic fractions okay how to work around algebraic fractions um, your linear equation your quadratic equation the graph of linear and quadratic function as well be looking into polynomials as well you know talking about the quotient the divisor the remainder and the likes all right still under algebra we'll be looking at um, your variation okay your joint variation your partial variation your direct variation your indirect variation and what have you okay so um we are going to into mensuration as well you know you are looking at different kinds of shapes their volumes their perimeter their areas their length and what have you so as well in geometry okay we're looking at locus and construction you know how to construct angle 90 angle 45 angle 22.5 you know angle 15 and those tiny tiny angles you are asked to look for how to interpret questions on construction okay as far as we we're considering circle you know the different theorems associated with it you know still on that geometry we're looking at triangles and polygons okay you know you talk about uh, the different kinds of um, sides or how many sides that a particular polygon regular polygon has okay so for instance you talk about your pentagon you talk about your heptagon your octagon and what i have to calculate the number of sides or angles internal or external for geometry okay so if you look into trigonometry as well we'll be considering your sine your cosine and your tangents. of course we're also going to look into the inverse side of these ones okay like your cut like your cosec like your seconds and what have you okay as well we'll be looking into um angles of elevation and depression as well we also consider bearings and distances you know your four cardinal points i'm standing here at this point so let me call my point point p so i have the north the east the south and the west okay so if i talk about angle 250 okay i'll just have to identify that from north to east i have 90 degrees from east to south i have 180 degrees then from south to west i have 270 degrees so i know my 250 degrees falls between the south and the west of course we'll be learning how to interpret that okay how to draw out your diagrams using the question presented to you then as well we'll look into calculus you know that's um, quite um, challenging for some candidates okay you are looking at differentiation the different kinds of um, rules attached to differentiation you know uh, we are looking at the product rule the quotient rule whatever rule that are being referred to in calculus we are going to touch them step by step in every simple technique possible okay as well we're looking into integration you know integration is like the wavy side or the other side of um, a differentiation okay so you remember integration just the basic one you're talking about uh, x raised to power n means n times x raised to power 
n minus 1. Okay, then for integration, when you have x raised to power n, what actually it means is that x raised to power n plus 1 over n plus 1. So you can see it's just like um, two opposite sides in calculus. So we're looking at the application of these particular things we've considered. As well, you know, trigonometric function, your sign, if you differentiate sine sin theta, you differentiate cos theta, if you integrate sine theta, and the like. So we are going to work on this together. You know, coming to statistics, we are looking at the representation of data, okay, using your histogram, your bar chart, your pie chart, and what have you. As well, we'll be looking at measure of location, measure of dispersion, you know, your mean, your, your mean, your median, your mode, okay, both for grouped and ungrouped data, how to determine your class mark, your class boundary, your class interval, how to present all of this together, as well as your variance and standard deviation. These are the things you'll be joining me to do, okay? So, and if you look into vectors, you know, we are talking about um, vectors probably in a plane, you know, a resultant vector and what have you. As well, you can, we are going to repeat or probably do more of this topic when it comes to physics. You can trace its appearance in the subject physics. So, these are the things we'll be doing together. So much more that I've decided to just do a summary of topics that we'll be touching together. I don't believe you don't want to miss out. So whatever exam you are writing, these topics are very essential for you. And I believe you need them. I believe you are going to work with them. I believe you are going to enjoy them. So what exactly is stopping you? Of course, nothing. All you just need to do is to click on the link in the screen below. It's going to take you to the My School website. There you have been given the full information on how you can get a full access to all of this wonderful content. So join me as you hit the like button. Also click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification just as you tell your friends so that you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video segment just for your comfort.